NFL Sunday Ticket is now on YouTube and YouTube TV, which means that you can stay close to your team even if you don't live in their town. Like, maybe you're a Raven who married a Seahawk who got a job in the land of the Falcons. With NFL Sunday Ticket, you can watch your team's out-of-market Sunday afternoon games no matter where you live because you shouldn't have to change teams even if you change towns. NFL Sunday Ticket, now on YouTube and YouTube TV. Go to youtube.com slash presale to get $50 off. Terms and embargoes apply. Offer ends 919. No refund. Subscription auto renews. This is the House of Hockey podcast on the Hockey Podcast Network. Hockey is more than a game. It's a lifestyle. It's you, the diehard supportive fans, your favorite players who are on the team you cheer for and the organization who supports them. The companies that make your gear, bags, and beer league sweaters, the hockey moms and hockey dads, and everything else that makes this house of hockey your home. Come on in. I'm Breezy. And I'm Ray Ray. And And this this is is our house. house. ready to do this i don't know i'm scared <gasps> oh yeah you got a team usa jersey i got a team usa jersey women's jersey women's hockey jersey women, women's hockey jersey but as you all learned last week she is a team canada world juniors fan so we're all over the oh, yeah. place here guys and usually team canada in the olympics for for men too they're just more fun i don't know sorry guys i can't you you're american i'm basically canadian have you heard my weird accent that i get sometimes you are not canadian you're american you live in california i don't know what's more american than that everybody but welcome to the episode 133 <laughs> i'm one of your hosts right, right? i'm your other host breezy i i, I gotta just yeah uh, yeah i just have to chalk it up to that's breezy right like that's ray that's breezy she's like Team USA women's fan, Team USA men in the Olympics, and then World Juniors Team Canada. Me? Yeah. No, I'm Team Canada, uh, World Juniors Team Canada men's Olympic. What did I say? Team USA men's Olympic. No, only Team team USA women's hockey. Oh, got it. Yes, I understand what mistake I made there. Okay, got it. That's okay. I forgive you. Did you get a player's name? I did not. Okay. So, okay, we're just going to do this right now. So, I went to the Team USA versus Team Canada women's game at Stable Center, aka Crypto Center, whatever. Uh, crypt- yeah, crypto.com. I can't even pronounce it right because I just hate it. That's horrible. Anywho, anywho. Staples. So, yeah, I rounded up, rounded up a group of people to come with me. Um, so it was super fun. And my two nephews were there with their two girlfriends and then my sister and then uh, one of my nephew's girlfriend's mom. So there's seven of us total. Hell yeah. So, yeah. So um, like in like the within the first like five minutes, my nephew Bryce goes, I really want a jersey. And I was like, bro, I want a jersey, too. (laughs) So he's like, "Okay, during intermission, like, let's go get a jersey. And I was like okay great you know <clears throat> so we were gonna go do that and we we went to like the little kiosk because like we were too far away from the store so we went to the little kiosk and we both wanted we liked what the white ones look like but that was like the world Jun- that's like the men's uh not world juniors that's just like the men's team usa the white one and I was like, I really like the white one too. Like, I'm just a really big fan of like away jerseys right now, which usually are like the white ones. Um, so he goes, okay, um, can I get that jersey? And he goes, that's the last one we have. And I was like, dang it. And I was like, it's okay. Like, you should get it. Like, that's to- like, if you know this kid, like he is all white, everything. He's got a white car, white, <laughs> glossy white desk, like a white <laughs> iPhone. Like he's like, he's like the white, white user. So... <laughs> I was like, that's you. Like, that looks like you. And he goes, oh, okay. He's like, dang, like, I, I feel bad. Like, I know you really want one. I was like, it's okay. Like, I'm just happy you're here. And I was like, but there's another kiosk over there. So maybe we should go over there too. So we walk over there and I was like, oh, they have another, they have this one. And I was like, can I get that jersey? And he goes, yeah. Keep in mind, they were like, Bryce got a size medium. And this one was a size large, I think it is. Maybe this mm-hmm. is a medium. I don't know. 
His was a small, whatever it was. It ended up being like the size of it. And we tried them on. I was like, his fits. And I was like, get it. And then so I tried it. I was like, it fits. And uh, I was like, okay, I'll get it. He goes, that was the last one. We got the last two jerseys no. in the arena. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I love it. I love the blue though. Like I think the blue is really oh, sharp. It's the navy so like sick. a navy blue. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's super sick. So that's the uh that's the old jersey story. I love it. You got mm-hmm. another jersey to the collection. I but did. didn't didn't I see some photos of you at that game in some Team Canada gear initially? No, no, that was uh the game before. That was the Kings game okay good i was mm-hmm. about to lose it yeah but i'm no, gonna I keep it wear, together i could not wear team canada to the women's game no hate against team canada for the women's no. uh, i'm just team usa hillary knight all the way i'm sorry maddie kessel like let's go let's go it, hands down hands down okay. can you tell me the hillary knight story now and then can you tell me the rest of the experience instead of killing me and everybody else I who sure listened can. last week yeah yeah, yeah okay. I sure can. So um, I posted on Instagram, just kind of like the, the Team USA, Team Canada. It was such a fun game. Like it was like such a cool experience. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit because I know this is like killing you. Um, but I, I fangirled over Hillary Knight because she got into like a little fight right in front of like where we were sitting. Yes. And I loved it. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Plus, like the entire game I'm sitting there, I was like, hey, hey, hey. That's Hillary Knight right there. Like, cause she like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I was fangirling and like everyone knew, like they're like hitting me. They're like, there she is. There she is. And I was like, I know. <laughs> um, so I, I just tagged her in the post just cause like, uh, it, whatever. Like I tagged, I tagged Kenny Chesney on my post the other day, like in his no boots nation liked it, whatever. Like you could tag people all the time. No one's ever going to see it. So the next morning I'm at work and I got a notification on my phone and I looked down and I was, I did like a double take and I like so wiped up really quick to unlock my screen. I looked down and I looked over and I was like, Hillary Knight just liked my photo. So yeah, I took an instant screenshot and I was like, I had to, I had to. Of course. It's, I'm saving that. What and was the picture it. of? Um, well, she just like, she liked the post. It was when okay. I had her tagged in, which I believe was like the lineup. So the two of yeah. the Canada and USA like facing each other at center ice. Sick photo. Hell Props yeah. To myself. Yeah. I can't believe she liked your picture. She knows you exist. I know. I you, know. Should have, you should have like replied in the post like, hey, Hillary, come on the podcast. I I probably couldn't even talk to her. No, I probably could. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, but isn't that cool? That is and so then, like, cool. I, and then like I retagged her in my uh, New Year's post. Um, and our friend Sean, your daily edit, yeah. uh, basically fangirled with me. And he's like, <laughs> I can't believe that. And I was like, bro, I know. And he's like, that's better than the Kings liking my post. And I'm like, oh, yeah. A hundred percent. Better yeah. than a team liking your post. You had a polite, you have a one of the best players absolutely liked yeah. your post this is huge I know. I know huge and she's my favorite I I I, 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 I don't even know what to say I would have freaked out too but I'm I'm like kind of sad I didn't get to freak out with you when it happened I know because then I saw and I'm like oh. Hillary Knight likes your picture. What's going on? Just, I, 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 I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I hyperventilated too. Almost like when Lainey Wilson said my name twice in that live stream. I was like, oh my, oh God. my gosh. Which when this episode comes out, I would have seen Lainey Wilson. Listen. Two days prior on Sunday. Listen, I went to look. She is coming to the city in which I live, Breezy, and the concert is sold out. But you can probably get tickets on StubHub. They'll just be a little bit more expensive. You should go. How do I do that? I, 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 uh, what? They sell, go to, resell tickets on StubHub? To, yeah. Yeah. People resell all the time. Okay. Because on Ticketmaster, it was like all sold out. I might be going yeah. by myself because I don't think anybody I know here likes country music, which is fine. <clears throat> I don't need nobody. You don't need nobody. You got Lainey, that's why. Lainey, Lainey will exactly. be there with you. 
I go wear my cowboy boots, my bell bottom pants. Mm-hmm. I, I go all out fringe mm-hmm. dress. I've got a Miranda Lambert fringe dress I could wear. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm always ready for country music. Yeah. There you but go. I'm really excited you're going to go. I just wish it could be with you, but I'm going to have to Me find too. some bootleg tickets for sure. Yeah. Or maybe I'll help just... you look for them. Okay. Or maybe I just like go, like go to the venue outside and just be like, mm-hmm. we'll buy your extra ticket. Like make a sign. Yeah. Like, like or those maybe people. I have like a group, like a Facebook group or something like in your city that's like, hey, selling tickets. Anybody interested? That happens all oh. the time too. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I got or like you can up. post like looking for one ticket to the Lainey Wilson show if anybody has an extra one. Okay. We got to get you to go. I know. And I'm kind then of we sad could that, talk like, about I'm it. Not gonna be able to- yeah, I, and I want to be able to like talk about it, but like this episode's coming out because we had to pre-record it because I'm an idiot and I'm gone in Chico this upcoming weekend. Uh, but it's okay. We'll talk about it next week. It's okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I got another teaser. Dist- another teaser. Got distracted. Okay. Go back to Team USA game versus Canada. How was <laughs> what did the people who were with you? How did they feel about watching women's hot? Prof- I'm call- going to call it professional women's hockey because that's like yeah, you know, what it is. Yeah. So when I originally, I think I talked about this before, when I originally brought it up to everyone, um, only a couple people knew that there was like an actual like women's team. Um, everyone was so like every, like once I asked, everyone's like, yeah, like I want to go. I didn't know that there was, I want to go. I want to go. Uh, we had really good seats, um, super close, yeah, super cheap. I was like, I just like robbed basically like this good of a game and this good of an atmosphere for you this just robbed, cheap. You just robbed I just, Hillary Knight. I just robbed Hillary Knight. No, I did not. I'm sorry. I should not done that. Just kidding. Um, but no, uh, everyone was super excited. We had just gone to the Kings game um, on Saturday. So the women's game was on Monday. So like a day and a half later, whatever it was. Um, I personally thought it was more fun than the Kings game. Two... Two other people said that they thought the Kings game was more fun just because they had never really been in an atmosphere like that. Um, completely different atmosphere to some extent. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but everyone thought it was fun. Everyone was excited. Uh, they were hyped up. We were able to like explain the game a little bit better to those who hadn't really been hockey fans for a super long time. Uh, it was just such a great time. It was so fun. Like I got like hyped up. Like I was like standing up and like, yeah, my nephew and I were like, yeah. Well, the one nephews that's not like super quiet. Bryce, the right. The all white guy. We were all like, yeah, they were scoring goals and we're like, yeah. (laughs) I love it. I love it. I love that this I'm so glad you finally got to go and watch and see. I mean, and you said it yourself, Hillary was like fighting somebody. Women's yeah. professional hockey is just as exciting as the men's. It just, you got to go check it out for yourself. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It's, it's worth checking out if you have a team yeah. in your area. Definitely. Yeah. And they did a teddy bear toss. So oh. the first goal, the first goal happened within like the first couple minutes, uh, team Canada, I believe did it. And like I knew that they were going to do a teddy bear toss, but I've never like witnessed a teddy bear toss in like real life. So then like the goals like went and all of a sudden all these teddy bears are just raining. And I'm talking like I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the hell is happening? Like, this is the coolest <laughs> thing. Uh, it took like 10 minutes to get all the, the teddy bears off the ice. But they also did a chuck a puck, which I missed because I was getting a jersey. Um, and then saucer pass, which was like the hot one. So yeah. Uh, another Kings and Arena host, Kayla, she like hosted it where uh, the captain for the Women's Kings League okay. in the area. And I'm drawing a blank. I should know this, but um, she she had to answer questions basically about women's hockey and she was eating super hot wings. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> it was cool. Dustin Brown is in the building. Uh, oh. There was a ton of ton of little kings and little ducks oh uh, everyone was walking around there like little kings and little ducks uh so that was really cool to see and you could just tell that they were all having a good time they were all comfortable they were like walking in between the aisles waving at their friends so oh um, that's cool that's awesome yeah. 
No. I've never seen a teddy bear toss in real life either. They, do they <laughs> do that in the National League? Do they do that in the NHL? I feel like they I don't think, do that. No, anymore. I think that they... I think it's like NHL rules that they can't do it. I was talking to Tracy, our friend Tracy, who works mm. for the Kings. Did you see Tracy? Um, I did see Tracy. <gasps> we got to talk about that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we um she had said that it's nhl rules that i think that you can't do a teddy bear toss but i think if you they make like a special exception or something they might be able to um yeah to do something but happens in ahl yeah so maybe go to go to one of those college too yeah yeah okay yeah what else what else else? i'm trying not to look at our rundown you guys because i don't want to like Ruin, I don't want to spoiler alert. I saw that like you put some of this stuff on the rundown and I was like, oh, avert the, don't look, don't look, close yeah, the dock, yeah, yeah. close the dock. Cause I didn't want to yeah, yeah. uh, know what was going on. Okay. What else about the women's game? Um, it was a final score three, two, uh, Canada won in overtime, which was still fun. Like there was a ton of, the, the crowd is pretty 50, 50, like team, I think TS team USA have maybe a little bit more people in the building um but there was a a lot of team canada i'm telling you like usa usa that is the funnest thing to do like (laughs) yes uh and they are coming back in 2027 for the olympics okay i think it is oh right that's in so i looked i looked down the aisle because i was sitting it was like bryce mariah me sarah zach and and then my sister and I, I looked down like this, and I like this, and I was like, so, and then the two girls looked at me, and they're like, we're going. <laughs> yes. This week's episode of the House of Hockey podcast is brought to you by... The NFL playoff picture is locked in, and my go-to place for wild card round action is DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. To kick off the road to Super Bowl 57, new customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Plus, all new and existing customers can get a no-sweat bet each day of the wild card round this weekend. Just place any NFL bet of your choice, and if it loses, you'll get a free bet back up to $10. Action so good, why bet NFL playoffs anywhere else? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code THPN, that's THPN for the Hockey Podcast Network. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL and get 200 in free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code THPN. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Have you shopped at Pure Hockey? They are America's largest hockey retailer with dozens of stores and the option to shop online. If you or any of your kids play hockey, Pure Hockey is the place to find just about all of your equipment, skates, sticks, gear, bags, jerseys, and accessories. Plus, Pure Hockey is one of our affiliate partners. Next time you break your hockey stick or your kid grows out of his skates, why not check out purehockey.com? While you are looking for hockey equipment, you can also browse around for merchandise from your favorite NHL team, you know who Breezy's and mine are, and make gift giving even easier for your hockey-loving friends and family. And do us a favor, use our special link for purehockey.com when you browse the site and make a purchase because we'll receive a small commission which helps me and Breezy create this podcast. Head to the episode's show notes for the special direct link to shop at purehockey.com. I met Mikey. So I was going to meet Mikey when I went to the Kings game on Saturday, but he was working. Mm. Um, right. It's kind of hard. Tell it everybody like who Mikey is. Thing. So Mikey is the in arena host for the LA Kings. He is a Him and Kayla super fan. Do it together. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so. yeah he's a. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he is a super fan of the pod. He's so fun. He's like the number one hype man MVP. Um, he puts Polly D to to shame with his fist pumping because he was like <laughs> hyphy, hyphy, such good energy. I I mean, I just 
I feel like I he was probably what pumped me up the most on on all those USA chants. I'm gonna oh, be yeah. honest. <laughs> well, so I woke up because like time change or time mm-hmm. zone differences, right? So like Breezy yeah. was at the game when I had like already gone to bed, and I woke up and I had like a ton of messages and stuff, and I was like, "What is happening?" And I saw that you got to meet Mikey, and I was like yes finally this is yeah. it's happened like first of all first you finally got your butt to a king's game then well you met mikey at the women's game but that doesn't matter yeah. either way because he's a like, fan there yeah ringo we're recording the podcast please okay yeah so mikey was there as a fan not working so he was right. on like fan mode um but i mean it, it's mikey through and through <laughs> um He's such a good in arena host too. So if you guys haven't been to a Kings game, you should go because Mikey really does. Uh, he really does a good job there. So we'll get to that. But yeah, I it was fun because I had messaged because Mikey goes, "I'm going to be mad if you don't meet up with me." So uh, it was during intermission. I had to go to the bathroom, so I DM'd him and I was like, "Hey, like you want to meet up?" And I'm walking into the bathroom and he's right next to the bathroom. So no. like, I like waved and he goes, "What?" I was like, "I just messaged you," and he goes, "I didn't even say it." So. Because we got to go take a picture over here by the king sign. So we walked yes. over there, we took a picture. And then he was like, I'm going to come find you. But he was like jumping from like section to section. But like you knew where he was because he was like getting the crowd hyped up in every section that he was sitting in. Um, so then he ended up coming over and sitting with me for a little bit. Like he sat on nice. the, the row below. And he was with Jesse Cohen from all the King's Men podcast. Um He's the host. So he interviews like a bunch of Kings players and people. And did you get any inside like, scoop that you can't say on the air? Maybe. I don't know. We'll talk about okay. it later. Right. Um, <laughs> but, and then uh, Mike Zytek, who is the Ontario rain photographer. So he was there too. So I met him. He takes some really good photos. So yeah. That's Very some, that's cool. Some good people. Yeah, my other notes here are Hillary and I Instagram, which we already went through, and jerseys, which we already went through. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And I saw a video or a picture of Mikey on the Jumbotron as a fan firing up the crowd, and I was like, mm-hmm. next level. He is next, next level. level. I have not met him either. I, I haven't. So You're missing out. You got, You're missing you out. got to meet him first. He's <laughs> probably one jealous. of my favorite people. Probably one of my favorite people. He's so oh fun. Oh, my God. And then I told him, I was like, hey, will you do a story takeover for me? And he goes, yes, I'm so nervous. What do I do? And I was like, do whatever you want. Like, this is your job, dude. And so he was like, I'm on the Jumbotron. I was like, you're always on the Jumbotron. <laughs> so he ended up yeah. on the phone and then he decided to to talk to me. I wasn't expecting to be in that video. I was kind of watching the game, but uh, he did such a good job. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. So this was my first thought. My first mm-hmm. instinct when I saw like all the video, like all the stuff happening and you were like, mm-hmm. I have so much to tell you. I was like, I wonder if her worst nightmare came true and Breezy was on the Jumbotron. Did that happen? No. I'm good. We were sitting in an area. Actually, they were doing all of the, they interviewed a bunch of people and they did like the hot ones challenge right next to us so like the drum line was right next to us but they had like the little backdrops and they kept turning the backdrop because they were filming and so we were completely covered which thank god or else i would have been on the jumbotron a lot but my nephew really wants to be on the jumbotron and i was like well if you want to be just just walk down three steps and he goes oh should i and so <laughs> next king's game uh, he wants to to get on there, so I gotta. My, I talked to Mikey already, so yeah, I yeah. think you can make that happen. Yeah, but how? Okay, now go now go to the Kings game. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Tell me about the Kings game where you met our friend Alma. Yeah, so I surprised Ray. Uh, Alma was texting us because she is a huge Sharks fan, uh, Timo Meyer fan. I, I guess Team, is, don't is. say Sharks fan. She's not a Sharks fan. Timo Meyer fan. Timo Meyer fan. Timo Meyer fan. Trevor Zegers fan. welcome, Alma. I got you, girl. Kings fan. Yeah, so um, she was texting us, and, like, as she's texting us, like, I'm in the car, and, like, I'm driving, we're, like, in a lot of traffic, and I'm, like, should I say something? Should I say I was, like, no, 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 I'm going to wait. I'm going to surprise him. Like, I'm going to take a picture and be, like, 
So guess where I first, am. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, so we're, we're all forever. in a group chat, the three of us. Alma's a friend yeah. of, our, of ours, and I've been trying to get them to meet. Um, but Breezy hasn't been to a game and it just hasn't happened. And so Breezy's all sneaky McSneakster. Yeah, I was a not telling us and... on the chat where she is. Yeah, sneakerini. And then I just came in clutch with the uh, picture, a pretty sick photo, too. Like I had just got I was walking in the aisle and I was like, OK, I got to do it. And I turned around and I like snapped the pic as soon as like the lights came down on the ice. And I was like, that was perfect. Like that could not work out any better. And then you guys were both really confused. And then, yeah. It's like, wait, where are you? Is are you are you at the game? And Alma's like, I'm here. Where are you? And then they're chatting back and forth when they're gonna meet up. And and then I stayed awake long enough to see the picture of the two of them because if I didn't get a picture, it didn't happen. And then mm-hmm. I could go to bed. I was so excited you got to meet her. By the way, Alma, Barizi, and I have something cooking up for all of you listeners as well. Um that we've talked about at the end of the year and uh, should be in the works and out and we'll be able to tell you about it soon, but something that Alma came up with and we're big supporters of. So stay tuned for that teaser number 25. Yep. Just big teaser fans over here. But yeah, that was my first time uh, at Staples this season. Actually, I think it's since it's turned to crypto arena and I'm still going to keep calling it Staples. So you guys just need to deal with it. Um, so my first time there, uh, they had some arena updates. It looks, I mean, you just see kind of the updates, the, the iconic walkway that the, the players come in. It's probably one of the best in the leagues. Like, let's let's be real. It's yeah. the lighting is phenomenal. Um, but they have these huge TVs, like the size of like a house at the very top. Like they are giant. I don't even know how big those things are, but they're like huge. I text my mom. I was like, can I get one of these? And she's like, no. <laughs> Dang it. Um, but one of my favorite things about going to games is their intro. Because yes. those intros, they just like hit you in the feels. Like there's past, present, you know, looking into the future. The fans are in, involved and in like the Stanley Cup. And like, it's just like, a, they like build you up, right? And like, they got yeah. like the fast paced music and like LA, blah, blah, blah. I mean, not just LA, but like across the league like those are supposed to get you hyped up and this intro lacked like I didn't feel anything really oh so I was kind of bummed out um but Mikey's energy was really what got me hyped up (laughs) thank god for Mikey and Kayla (laughs) for sure Kayla wasn't there at the key at when I was there I I don't know she was there it was just Mikey Um, but yeah but yeah sometimes they they do a little duo but um yeah crazy that's cool you saw tracy oh go ahead yeah also um an an update was they have like amazon market shopping this blows my mind how do they know how do they know what i'm buying i don't know they have like these like little like bars and you had to like put your credit card into them put your credit card out and the bars open and you basically go and like get whatever you want and then like if you're buying a sale checkout if you have to, if you're buying like an alcoholic beverage, like they just check your ID and then you have to open it before you walk out, but then you just walk out. Yeah. How I did that know? in Boston at the TD Garden, which yeah. I didn't talk about because I talked about 500 other things during my time at the game, but I was like, okay, let me try this and see how this works. Like I needed a water and the same thing you put the credit card in. I was like, but how do they know? <laughs> She's yeah. like, there's so many cameras that like somehow i don't know they have that at sam's club too where you put the cart you just put your cart and it like scans it i'm too scared to try it i, I guess i should try it yeah. wild technology that's all man. i gotta say that's all it's i gotta crazy. say and the the kings beat the sharks in a shootout win so um it was a good game for everyone i was with i again i was with my two nephews and their two girlfriends and the only game my nephews have been to is a preseason game so it was an experience for them we got an adrian kempe bobblehead super sick um zach's girlfriend had never been to a king's game before so first for her it was awesome and then bryce's girlfriend had been before uh, but not for a while so it was really exciting for all of them that is awesome yeah 
it's always a good time there. I'm sorry that the the opening video wasn't as hyped. That's but... okay. That's okay. I know. It could have been just me. Uh I I have very high expectations for like stuff like that, so probably my fault. But uh the game was good. The game yeah. was fun. That's always. all that mattered. Yeah. Okay, and then what about Tracy? You saw our girl so, Tracy. She's been she was on episode number two or three of the podcast. Yeah. I don't know. Go back and look. She's and she an was on again. Yeah, she was on again with uh Curtis Gabriel oh, yeah. and um Pride Tape. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm drawing a blink on his name, which he just sent us. Yeah. I didn't know it. you had it. I had it, yeah. I just well, oh good. It was during our week of I know. Right well, here. another teaser, but um pride tape partnered um it's jeff yeah uh it's called hockey is for everyone um it's part of the hockey is for everyone who's hockey and it's a book for kids about all of the inclusivity and differences that people have there's even a dog in the book and we're gonna Mm -hmm. have him come on and talk about it after we read it because i obviously haven't read it yet it's a beautiful Mm -hmm. book i got two copies i can't wait to send one of them to a friend of mine who has young kids and get them into hockey and learn everything um it's a it's the subtitle is a hockey is for everyone book about acceptance search for teammates and you'll find friends love it i'm so glad he sent us this book you can get it i think anywhere um probably nhl.com um but get it for your kids now if you got kids or nephews or nieces or grandkids or whatever that it might be for you but anyway pride tape go on yeah we'll put a, a link yeah we'll put a link yeah to we'll the link book, it uh in our blog that will be out this week so yeah. uh tracy was out sick for the king's game so i did meet tracy oh. at the uh, team usa versus team canada okay good game so um I saw her. It was really good to see her. I haven't seen her in such a long time. So, but she was working, so we only got to chat for a little bit. Um, but she she talked to Mikey, and Mikey wants to come on the pod to talk to us, and Tracy wants to come back on the pod to talk to us because she misses us. Yes, I'm here for it. Yeah, great. I'm so, so glad teaser, Mikey we wants got to those come two on. coming back. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. New 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 stuff happening in the new year for all of you. Wonderful friends of the podcast also um you were right about getting a lot of heat for a social clip that we put together about the gender reveal at the islanders game we we're getting trolled hard on social media both uh, well breezy does the tiktok and i posted it also on youtube as a youtube short and people are like up in arms over the fact that i don't agree with gender reveals at hockey games and like the trolls on the internet are insane but the They're real wild. people on the internet who have like actually commented when we originally posted that clip they were like i agree this is stupid i agree this is stupid and then all of a sudden like trolls just come like do they just do this to be di- to dif- to be different like to incite a riot like they just go against whatever you're saying to start shit is that what is that how that works yeah, I think so. Um, the people on TikTok that have been trolling us, it was only like three three kids. And when I say kids, I'm pretty sure they were 15 or, or under. Um, so if you are 15 or under, I'm sorry that I just called you a kid, but you're a kid. Come it's on. Okay. You're, yeah. you're a kid. Um, also, if you are going to troll us, um, thank you, because it, it does it helps. help <laughs> add, add that on there. Um, but also... Um, Maybe have an account where you have more than like twenty three followers. Yeah, Not that no we have many followers, accounts. but but it's okay. Like, yeah, that's fine. Sidebar. Thank you. Though. Got dis- distracted. Okay, what else? <sighs> what else do we have to talk about? Rivalries you in know, general. Yeah, I think we should talk about rivalries because uh, the Kings played the Sharks when I was there. Obviously, a hu- a huge rival has been for for many years. Team Canada, Canada versus Team USA, huge rival has been for ever. Um, but it got me thinking. Some of the best rivalries in the NHL um, are noted as the Bruins and Habs, Leafs and Habs, Penguins and Caps, the Battle of Alberta, so Flames and Oilers. Is it Kings and Ducks now? Kings and Knights? Kings and Sharks? You got you know hawks in detroit but hawks and preds like 
there's so many different ones um in hawks and blues preds and blues preds mm-hmm. you know lightning and, and panthers like but some of these games that you see now like are rivalries dying are they getting more aggressive are they changing are they as exciting as they were before like how do you feel I don't know if they're getting more aggressive but I also haven't been to like a rivalry game Mm -hmm. you know like I mean I I went to a Ducks Kings game but I would not say I felt unsafe in any way that like the rivalry was getting like really heated with fans no, it's more of like the freeway, fa- like that's the freeway face off. So like, it's like a rivalry right. because like, it's the same, like they play each other often. Right. Right. Because like, their division like in the division. So yeah. It does. I think. Especially for the Kings, because like, there's so many teams in, in California and in like surrounding areas, like Vegas obviously has just become a, a super big rival. But like, when you think about like Bruins and has, but like, arguably like bruins and and pens too right yeah yep pens and flyers yep yep i don't know what's i think it depends on your team and like what year you were a fan like you became a fan because the rivalries have changed like you could say that the hawks and the preds have a rivalry um because of like you know playoff right like recent like playoff things or um, but like notoriously Chicago and Detroit are rivals. And I got a fun fact for you. I actually did research Let's the, the Red Wings and the Blackhawks have faced each other in more regular season games than any other two teams in NHL history, obviously because they're original six, only the Bruins and the Canadians also original six rivalry exceeds them in total games played when Stanley cup playoff games are included. So like, yeah, that stats like a little skewed because they're obviously part of the original Mm -hmm. six teams and they've played each other the most, but like that all changed of course. Um, So, you know, but if you go to a Hawks game and it happened during I'm pretty sure it happened during Hosa's retirement ceremony. For no reason, Chicago fans, no matter who they're playing, will just start a Detroit Sucks chant. So, like, that rivalry and tradition is, like, still very much alive. Yeah. Um, so I can speak to that, and I'm, like, here for it, and then those should be kept around. And I was like, why do we do this? Like, why do we chant Detroit Sucks when we're not playing them? And they were like, I don't know, we just do. And I was like, okay, that's... Not really an answer, but oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, you'll take it. You'll go for it. But like, do the Kings? Let's say, like, when the Kings play the Knights, like in the arena, are fans like Knights suck, or like do yeah. they? That's yeah. I, I think I mean they do a chant every single game with whatever team that they're playing. You know, so and so sucks. Right. Um, but I feel like since vegas has become a team the fans just kind of i mean everyone ended up being a vegas fan for uh, many different reasons just because they were the misfits they they were sick marketing cool logo cool jerseys like in vegas like they got they got this whole thing going for them um but the fans just like they come in hot and they were vocal yeah. And I mean, it came down to like, there's beers being thrown from the third tier down to the first tier. Like there's fights that were breaking out. So I think it just becomes a rival, especially when the team is doing good mm-hmm. and another team is not doing good, who had been doing good. Yeah. The Kings. And so I think those things just kind of, they start. And I would honestly say that probably the kings and knights have one of the bigger rivalries now over kings and ducks and and kings and sharks and i'm probably yeah people would probably disagree with me but personal opinion but like the kings have just faced so many playoff rounds versus the ducks and versus the sharks and like all being california teams Mm -hmm. it's just a rivalry in general but like so i think that's like almost like common at this point Mm -hmm. uh so for me like it's like, oh, yeah, they're playing the Ducks, or oh, yeah, they're playing the Sharks. Like, it's going to be, like, probably a rowdy game. It's going to be an aggressive game. Like, they're going to, you know, they're going to fight. Maybe not, like, 
fist fight, but like it's gonna be um like a fast, like hard hitting game. Yeah. Um, but when the knights come to town, I feel like it gets a little bit more like flashy and mm. like a little bit more cocky, maybe. Mm. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Personal I mean, opinion. You, yeah, you could argue that the Blackhawks have a rivalry with the Kings for going back to back every other yeah. year for cups. And like I remember being absolutely terrified going to one of those playoff games during one of those years in a Blackhawks jersey in Kings territory. I was like, yeah. it is unsafe. It is unsafe for me here with the girlfriend that I was with in our Blackhawks jersey. But by the way, somebody bought the jersey off her back. She had obviously another shirt underneath, but like mm -hmm. it was a Taze jersey. And I think it was from the first cup. Uh -huh. and it had the patch on it and he was like i've been uh -huh. looking for one of those like can i i'll give you 200 bucks for it and she's like okay just so it worked but i mean that's a rivalry for sure i yeah. i would say there's all kinds of little sub pockets of rivalries that are there mm -hmm. but i I mean, I hope it continues. I don't want this to stop. They can't be dying. We need more of these. I'm glad we yeah. have like new ones like the the Lightning and the Panthers. Like like those two teams have been there for a very long time in Florida, but they weren't a rivalry per se um mm -hmm. until recently when they become better. So does that is that what qualifies a rivalry? Like the two teams have to also be good or evenly matched and then like knock each other out of playoff contention? Yeah. I think it's got to have some stakes to it. I think obviously there's all the in like the divisional rivalries, right? Because they all play each other a lot mm -hmm. or their neighboring cities. And then that comes with the fact that like each city also has its own identity. Like if you go like Pittsburgh to Philly, like that they're both in the same state, but they're both very different cities and they have their mm -hmm. own rivalries within that like of tradition. So, and then, and then add a hockey team. Yeah. And then now you're going to have uh, probably the Canucks and the Kraken because they're so close yeah. to one another. But then people are now arguing that I've seen just chitter chatter online that um, the Kraken and the Knights would be a, a pretty big rivalry. So that one seems a little far fetched to me. But I feel like that's a stretch, like just because they're the yeah. two newest teams in the league. I don't think that constitutes a rivalry. Yeah. I don't know. So would you say your favorite rivalry would be uh, Detroit and Hawks? Of course. Of course. Of course. We chant course. Detroit sucks in the middle of a game when we're playing the Kraken. Like, yeah. how can you not love that? The history. I love the history yeah. to it. What's yours? Uh, I don't know. Part of me, like, I don't know. I really don't know. And you got to also put in, I mean, you got to look at the Islanders, the Rangers, and the Devils. Like that's got to be a weird little loop of a of a rivalry. Uh, my favorite rivalry. I just feel like anytime the Kings and the Ducks play, it's kind of fun, but like kind of sucks at the same time. Just because like I get so mad when the Ducks win. Um, <laughs> the Kings and the Canucks also had had a rivalry for a really long time. So, um, I think Preds and. Oh, Preds and Stars have have one going, and and Preds and Blues have one going too. I think Preds and Blues, just from what I've seen people talk about, like how people were like who were traveling from Nashville to go watch a Blues game, they were like kicked out of the arena because they were wearing Preds gear. Uh, who knows what what was saying if they deserved to get kicked out or not? I I can't attest for that, but um, I don't know. I just feel like they're all fun. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I could pick a favorite. All right, that's fair. I'll let you have that. But I do think a rivalry is that's uh, a very breezy answer. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I hope every team wins. Um no, not every team wins. <laughs> I don't want every team to win. Oh, uh, I'm just giving you a hard time. I, I'm glad we've got rivalries and yeah. I'm here for it. Let's make some more. I agree. Okay, anything else we have left out of what has occurred during your time? I think we covered it all. I think so. I'm not feeling as like hyped up anymore, so I think I finally got all of it off my chest. Good. Good. It's been brewing. It was hype. It's been just like 
It has been like, yeah, I know. I came in hot today. I'm sorry. I I loved it because I, we had a change in our schedule and I was like, I did a hard right turn and I was like, okay, we're doing, we're doing the podcast. (laughs) So, yeah, well, we were, we just moved up our time. That's all. But yeah. 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 That's, that's where we're at folks. Hopefully Breezy and I will both be able to tell you about our experiences at the Lainey Wilson concert in different states uh as well as you know getting ready for the i guess i mean i guess we are close to the um trade deadline yeah yeah i like kind mm-hmm. of forgot we're in january now and that's in february yeah. so i guess i take back that statement i said about not being that close to the trade deadline when we actually are <laughs> yeah so. gotta take it back i take it back no take backsies is that what they say no takey backies what is it no takesy backsies. I don't know. No take back. Nothing sounds right to me. I know. Holiday no fuzz, backs. middle of winter, middle of the hockey season. Listen. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking okay. around. I don't think I have anything else to show you. I did get a new Kings jersey. Who'd you get? I got. And what'd you get? Hometown boy, Thousand Oaks native, Trevor Moore. I had to. I absolutely I support had to. that authentic yeah. or like reverse re- retro reverse or whatever um it is the uh the home one the black one nice it's so sparkly too i pulled it out of the package i was like why is it so sparkly my sister goes it's like glittery like do you want me to bedazzle it for you and i was like no no yeah. no absolutely not you know who would love that our friend alma bedazzle it yes i know you want to see it yeah i want to see it you gotta see how like I want to see the sparkle. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you yeah. can see this. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, it's glittery. It's sparkly. It's, it's sparkly. sparkly. It's like it's Hollywood, more... baby. Hollywood. It is. Yeah, it's it's pretty sick. I like it. It's, that uh... might be. The... Oh well, the Knights might have some sparkle in their jersey. I don't think a lot yeah. of teams have sparkle in their jersey. No, the knights do. It's like the gold sparkle. So yeah, they copied you. Yeah, you did well. Jerseys, hockey games. You met all the people. Hillary Knight knows who I am. And she's gonna. Yeah, she's gonna come on our pod. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, we've given so many name drops uh, (laughs) the last couple episodes. Hope all of our friends are happy. All of our supporters are happy. Um, and hopefully they'll all be on the and pod. if anybody, any other 15 or younger wants to troll us because we didn't mention their name, uh, drop your name in a, a link, uh, a comment below if you would like. Um, and maybe we'll give you a shout out. Yeah, just keep trolling. It boosts our engagement. So, ha ha, f- jokes on you, trolls. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Bring it on. We can handle it. There's this thing called block and that we are fully capable of using so bring it on okay we're going there (laughs) thanks for coming over to our house of hockey podcast and hanging out with us we'll be back next week with a brand new episode and in the meantime you can follow us on social media just look for house of hockey podcast we'll be back next week